Welcome to the Registration Data Request Service, or RDRS. As a requester, this platform allows you to request and access non-public registration data from ICANN accredited registrars for GTLD domain names that are participating in the service. In this video, we're going to show you how to use the system as a requester. To begin, you must first log in to the RDRS homepage at https rdrs.icann.org with your ICANN account info. If you have an ICANN account, click the top button to log in with your ICANN account info. These are the same credentials you use to register for ICANN meetings or enroll in ICANN Learn courses. If you don't have an ICANN account, you would click the bottom button to first create an account before logging into the system. I'm logging in with an ICANN account. Please note that the first time users of RDRS will see a consent page that they need to agree to before being allowed into the application. Once you've logged into the platform, you'll first see the RDRS system dashboard. Think of this as your home screen. From this page, you'll be able to check in on the status of your existing requests, submit a new request, or access your request templates. On this dashboard, your requests are sorted into four columns, the creation date, the status date, domain subject, the priority level of the request, at the top of the dashboard, you'll see multiple color-coded buttons allowing you to filter your requests on the dashboard based on their approval status or level of urgency. All these buttons are clickable, allowing you to filter your requests based on your preferred criterion. Additionally, you are able to click the top of each column to order your requests by their creation date, status, domain subject, or priority type. From the dashboard, you can click into each of your requests to see a brief overview, which includes the status, domain subject, associated registrar, request type, priority level, and requested or approved information. Toward the bottom of the page, you can view the request's history, including any status changes and their associated dates. Clicking on the Show Full Details button will display the request in its entirety. Now I'll show you how to create a new request. Let's head back to the main dashboard screen. In the top right-hand corner of the page, click the button labeled Make a New Request. Clicking this link will prompt you with a reminder to leverage the ICANN Lookup tool before taking you to the new request form. Submitting a request. In the top right corner, you'll see three bubbles showing what step you're on on the request form. In total, there are three steps. First, you'll want to input the two-level domain name associated with the request. As you type, a built-in field validator will check whether the domain format is correct and verify through a lookup whether or not the associated registrar is participating. If the domain name is valid, the system will provide a confirmation message in green font. Failure to type in a correct domain or domain without a participating registrar will result in the system providing a relevant error message in red font. Next, input all requester contact info. As a requester, your name and email address will be automatically populated from your ICANN account. Below this, you can include any additional contact details. If including a phone number, be sure to also include the number's associated country code. For example, plus one for the United States. Clicking Next brings you to step two, request for non-public registrant data. Here, you will specify what kind of request you'd like to make, what you're asking for, and you can provide supporting documentation. In the Request Category section, click the drop-down menu to select the most applicable category related to your request. This list is predefined based on the most popular or likely categories. However, if your request is not immediately available here, please use the Other option. If selecting Other, though, you must provide a description or justification behind your selection. Below this, select the priority level of your request. This selection will correspond to either an expedited review request or a standard request. You would select expedited review if the nature of the request could prevent harm, but please note it is not a substitute for direct communication in emergency situations, and that ICANN does not enforce expediency or service level targets with registrars participating in the service. If the request is expedited, you would provide a reason in the rationale text box that appears after selecting that priority, and should follow up outside of the system. Moving on, select the data elements you're requesting to view. These data elements are broken up into three categories, registry information, registrant information, and tech information. Click the 
checkbox next to each element to select or deselect that element for your request. Alternatively, you can select all to select all the elements in the section. Then deselect any options that don't apply to your request. Then, in the next drop-down menu, identify the country territory or country's territories in which you or the party you represent will process the request data. This includes any jurisdictions in which any third party will process such data on your behalf, such as storage by a cloud storage provider. Here, you can either select those countries right from the drop-down or begin to type into the menu field to search for and select a specific country. In the field below, provide a brief description of the specific issue your request is attempting to resolve. Provide your answer in between 50 and 1,000 characters. We ask you to be specific. The more specific you are, the more helpful and quick registrars can be in processing your request. Continuing down the form, you'll need to indicate whether your request originates from or is based on law enforcement authority. This will need to be documented by a subpoena, court order, warrant, or any other form of legal request necessitating the involvement of law enforcement to disclose data. If that is the case, ICANN asks that you specify if you require confidential treatment in handling your request. Additionally, you may optionally list the exact date you'd like a response by the contracted party. Also, please upload a copy of the law enforcement request. This request must be a PDF file and cannot be larger than 5 megabytes. Under this section, please also indicate your representation status in submitting this request. Are you submitting this request on your own behalf, or are you authorized to do so on behalf of a third party? If you're acting on behalf of a third party, please upload and attach a statement including power of attorney for the party you're representing. As a reminder, this upload must be submitted as a PDF file and cannot be larger than 5 megabytes. In this last portion, please indicate whether or not you intend to assert under a legal basis that your data request will be processed in accordance with any form of applicable law or regulation, including the European Union General Data Protection Regulation. If yes, please indicate that specific legal status using the drop-down menu provided. There may be a case where your intended legal basis doesn't appear as a selection in the drop-down menu. If so, please select Other Applicable Law, Non-GDPR Legal Basis, and use the text box provided to add your reason. Your response should be between 50 and 300 characters. Lastly, if you have any additional files that can be used to support your request, please upload them here. Once you've added all your information to this page, click Review to move to Step 3. This is Step 3, the Review Phase. Here, you can look back to double-check the information you included on each step is correct. As you move through each section of the page, make sure to double-check the files you uploaded are correct. If you want to be extra cautious, click the file you uploaded to download that file and confirm. Once you've finished reviewing and double-checking your answers and submissions, you must acknowledge two final statements. Please read these statements fully and carefully. First, you must acknowledge that the information you've included in the form is to the best of your knowledge, legitimate, correct, and included in good faith. Second, you must affirm that any personal data included in this request will be processed and transferred properly and will be done so in accordance with applicable data law. If you acknowledge these statements, click the box to the left of each statement to show your acknowledgement. Once you've reviewed this page in full, double-check your responses, acknowledge the final two statements, and feel ready to submit your request, click Submit. And congratulations, you've submitted your request. On this page, you can either go back to the main dashboard or go right on to submitting another request. Remember, use the dashboard to check on the status of your request. Click Back to Dashboard to return to your dashboard or click Create New Request to start over and create a new request.